So I'm joined by director of football, Paul Doswell, and I believe you have some news for us, Dos. Yeah, we just uh, had a meeting with, with Derek and Mark and the rest of the board. Um, you know, between us, I've agreed to step down as uh, director of football. I think it's the right thing to do at this time, uh, allow Jamie to go and make his mark uh, as a manager um, without me necessarily uh, being over his shoulder. So, as I said, thoroughly enjoyed the four years here at the football club. Uh, I think Derek and myself, Mark, Trev, got a massively close relationship and I've become uh, very much a committed supporter of the club, still be at the games, uh, still be around. But ultimately, I think it's the right thing to do, you know, to step away from, from the football role at the club uh, and still sort of help with getting the, uh, getting the 3G and getting the kids in and trying to keep the attendances good and all the rest of it. But it suits me as well. You know, it allows me now to get away, uh, go away more and also perhaps to work a bit more during the day and actually earn myself a few quid. And I believe this is a decision that's come very lightly and I imagine you've thought through this the last few weeks. Yeah, to be fair, Derek and I, Mark, have been talking for, for probably a couple of months really, just seeing how the role would work. Um, listen, I, I stood down um, on the basis of my 12-game uh, suspension. I've got my own views on that suspension, which I've always kept uh, in-house. But ultimately, uh, Jamie was being pushed through the ranks. I think he's got an excellent football brain and if he's given a chance... I think he's going to be a great asset for the football club. But it became pretty clear pretty early that just me being here or being in that role, um, people's perception as much as anything, you know, the outside world, especially around the Portsmouth area looking in. So, as I said, from my point of view, I've said to Derek and Mark, it's the right thing, I think, to do for him. Um, you know, it's his team now. It's, it's, he stands or falls by his decisions. But I will still remain, a, you know, a, a firm supporter of the club and really backing Jamie a thousand percent because I want him to be successful in his football management career. And one of the main driving factors of this decision, as you say, is really to push Jamie on and alongside Birdie as well. Yeah, and realistically, um, you know, it's been a tough four years here. I thought the first year was, was, was a brilliant, we can go through it almost. The first year was an amazing first year. You know, we finished second. I think we'd have won it if, uh, if COVID hadn't kicked in. Uh, years two and three weren't even football seasons really. But we got through to the second round of the FA Cup. We got two live games. I think we've sold over £300,000 worth of players since I've been here. Uh, this year, going brilliantly up till uh, January. And like I said, it's, um, it's me that's got to take responsibility for what's happened from January to April. Um, you know, the players have to be culpable as well. But ultimately, I chose the players. I brought the players in. Um, and watching how the last 14, 15 games unfolded, you know, from the stand was was a big factor, you know, because ultimately I felt that was down to me. And like I said, I want to give Jamie a, his best start. I want to give him a clean start. And from that point of view, I think it's the right decision for the football club, which is, I think has always been my main goal, is to make, do things right for the club. But I leave, and I say I don't leave the club, but I leave the role and I leave the management role very, very proud of what we've achieved. Um, hugely disappointed that we didn't succeed in what ultimately I wanted to do for the chairman, which was to get us back in the National League. But football's never a given, it's never easy. But when you see what's happening now with this pitch and the thousands of kids come into play and you know this wonderful new office building and lots of stuff that people don't ever get to see. Um, but you're not judged by that, you're judged by your results. And ultimately, the results at the end of, from January onwards weren't good enough. And as I said, I'm, I'm quite happy to sort of fall on the sword uh, on that one but I just like everyone now to get behind the chairman who puts in a huge amount of commitment and money to this club I'd like everyone to get behind Jamie uh, as well because it's his first real job in, in management and you know it's, uh, it's something that I think personally would work but I think it'll personally work better without me as I said just being around and being on his shoulder and given the time of this announcement as well it gives Jamie and Birdie and the rest of the team the best possible chance as well to drive forward um, given the summer as well in the pre-season massively important like I said um, you know I've got a big black book and I'm always always there to help Jamie to use it if he needs me but ultimately as I said Jamie's got to go off now and, and, and be his own man and I think the easiest way to do that is for me not to be there um, but I will be there because as I said I'll still be what coming in on a Saturday I'll be sat next to the chairman watching the games I'll, I'll go to the away games and watch but ultimately, as I said, it's, it's important that there is a clean break and this is the clean break as of today. And let's just talk about off the pitch. You mentioned it earlier. 
this club is fantastic and you've been very much involved in with Gary and the team in the office to drive this club forward off the pitch. Yeah, listen, I think there's lots of people that deserve credit. I think Stuart Munro, who, who's not been talked about, deserves credit because he was a massive influence uh, in the uh, investment into the 3G pitch without the chairman's backing. I mean, I remember when I first suggested that we go 3G, he only loved grass pitches, he loved muddy grass pitches. And when he was a player, he used to kick people all over the muddy pitches. But I think he saw into the, I think he saw into the vision, he backed to the vision. And I've got to be honest, the vision was, uh, was stopped for two years because of COVID. And we did factor that in. I think the four, you know, the four people that helped get the pitch sorted and the investment factored the COVID, possible COVID problem in. Probably none of us foresaw how bad it was going to be. All I would say is that now in this last 18 months, with, when COVID's left, you've seen it, you know, seeing the hundreds of kids here on half term now, um, seeing the walking footballers, nearly 60 of them, and that's all the bits that people don't see. But as I said, my job primarily was football manager, but I also did a lot, lot more than just be the football manager. But you get judged as the manager, and that's right. And just finding then, Buzz, your message to the fans. Listen, it's been a, it's been a topsy-turvy four years. As I said, we've had some great times. We've had some very disappointing times. You know, it's, but overall, I'd like to think that I leave the club in a far, far better position than, than when I first came. I've got some friends here now for life. And, um, you know, listen, I understand that I was Marmite to certain people. I, I get that and I understand it. And it's another reason why I think it's right for me to step away at this time. But everything that I ever did was the right thing, in my opinion, for the football club. It was always done for the right reasons. And I can look myself in the mirror every single day of the week and know that I did the very best I could. Uh, gutted, to be honest, that I couldn't get the chairman what he wanted, which was National League. But I leave with my head held very high but like I said it's this isn't the end of me here it's just I want to be sat in the stand and perhaps relaxing a bit and having a glass of wine with the chairman rather than being told off by the chairman so um, yeah that's not, I, I leave I, I leave with um, some unbelievably good relationships the away support that we get now incredible um, the home support I'd like it to be bigger you know and it's something that I keep encouraging everyone to come here uh, and it, you know, I know what the board are doing in terms of trying to get people to come to this football club for, for realistically what is, you know, not not a lot of money. You know, we, we we've done so many initiatives here that Derek's backed and the board have backed, and it's a good good football club. It's a brilliant football club, um, and as I said, the the overall feeling of, of being here is one of being very proud, but also you've got to know when your time's up on certain things, and and that's where I'm at today. Well, Dawes, it's been a pleasure. I think I speak for the fans, the supporters of this club and the staff as well on the board. And we wish you all the best. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it.